Since the first wireless transmissions over a hundred years ago, ever-growing amounts of information have been exchanged through the radio. Radio communication also plays an essential role in space ever since the first satellite, Sputnik, was launched in 1957. Due to the constant growth in the number of small satellites and a consequently increasing use of frequencies such as the VHF and UHF bands, interference problems have become a common problem. In order to ensure reliable communication in the future, it is important to detect and identify the sources of interferences. To address this issue, the CellSat research project by the Technische Universität Berlin aims to launch a nano-satellite for spectral analysis into a low Earth orbit of approximately 570 kilometers. The CellSat satellite is based on the 25 by 25 Tubix 10 bus of the Technische Universität Berlin. CellSat stands for Spectrum Analysis Satellite. The satellite's precise orientation can be altered by so-called reaction wheels. Additionally, CellSat will feature a newly developed fluid dynamic actuator for positioning and stabilization. In contrast to the mechanical reaction wheels, it has no elements that are susceptible to wear or shock. In addition to the space-proven S-Link transceiver, CellSat will include the novel space-qualified spectrum analyzer. Utilizing the VHF, UHF and S-band antennas, the analyzer will detect frequency usage and possible interferences as well as their location over the course of one year. A camera records images which can be transmitted or processed instantaneously in the satellite using a Linux-based system. The CellSat mission is monitored by the control center at the TU Berlin, the Technische Universität Berlin. The main payload CELSA records the radio spectrum via the antennas. The noise level and the corresponding sources of the signals are detected during the overflight of a ground station such as the German Center for Satellite Communications in Bad Nang near Stuttgart. CELSA observes a Doppler shift of the signal as the distance between transmitter and receiver evolves. As a result, interference sources can be identified and traced. The data collected over the course of the mission is then used to create a so-called heat map. This chart is an interactive, color-coded visualization of the amount of frequency utilization within the radio spectrum. With every consecutive orbit around the Earth, CellSat is able to generate a heat map with increasing accuracy. Furthermore, the mission intends to find out which frequencies can be reallocated or used multiple times for more effective satellite communication without causing interference. This is an important step towards ensuring reliable and secure communication in our modern, connected world. The CellSat mission clearly shows where action is needed and thus contributes to the efficient and sustainable use of the limited resources of the radio spectrum. The findings of the anticipated 1.5-year operational phase will be made available via an internet platform and used for scientific studies as well as the development of intelligent radio transceivers of the future. CellSat is thus making a valuable contribution to the future of space travel. The CellSat mission, the identification and localization of interfering signals as a first step towards solving a growing global challenge.